two. for this project, one garden pot bought at the dollar store, also from the dollar store a green pool noodle, and a can of orange spray paint. two Once the hole is cut out for the uh, bottom portion of the pot and you have your one third carrot stem ready to go, and as long as you've made that hole just a little smaller than the circumference of the pool noodle, you've got that. And the reason I did it this way, honestly, so this will come out and I can stack them storage. Once I had the carrots done, I really wanted to add some rabbits to the display. So I took some foam board and using a heat knife or a foam cutter, I cut out these adorable little bunny silhouettes. I just went on Google and looked for bunny silhouette clip art and kind of sketched them on and, and then cut them out. The tails are more of a three-dimensional um, look, which is what I wanted. And to get them to stand up, I did a similar thing with the tails. I went ahead and cut out some more cardboard, and I want to show you how simple this was. I used a glue gun and toothpicks. Can you see those? And then you can go ahead and just stick that right in there. And then there's toothpicks on this side that can be used in the back of the rabbit. 
help stand him up. So that way you have a freestanding rabbit to go along with your garden full of carrots. 